there boys and girls welcome back to the channel welcome back to the sir alex ferguson save and today just one match for you today We're gonna go away at united first versus third in that one so huge game so early on in the season and we've got loads to round up for you as well but before we get into today's episode if you are enjoying the series hit that thumbs up button uh, if you are new around here or you just haven't subscribed while you're down there hit that subscription button and then follow it up with the all-important bell icon and uh, turn on those notifications and uh, make sure you are up to date kept up to date when a video hits your sub boxes but let's get into this uh, episode for you today i say united away from home huge game for us in the league so early on and uh, yeah had a bit of uh bit of stuff happened since we last met we last met against Watford 2-1 winners against them we've then gone on a good winning streak three games as you can see there won the win against Swansea really tough game Swansea really took it to us and uh, defended brilliantly but uh, brilliant Bolo scoring on the 19th minute um, was the only goal of the game we then went away to another uh, another team that's going to be down there in the kind of bottom half and that is uh, Burnley newly promoted Burnley and I uh, went 2-0 up there James Madison with a brace 8.8 .8 for him Fetiar playing not great over the last two games but defensively we've been absolutely amazing got the wins um, and that's what you really want in these early stages is wins under your belt and uh, the performances will come later on and played Chelsea in uh, St James's Park they were languishing in uh, mid table for this one and uh, we got off to a really good start Antonio Marin scoring after 20 minutes and I thought Moussa Dembele had nicked a point on the 90th minute uh, but Will Perry he came off the bench and he scored the winner 93rd minute and uh, we just squeaked out three points there and as you can see uh, Will Perry on a 7.3 Antonio Marin on an 8.3 Fetty Arp not playing great again so that for this game against United we have changed up the format uh, changed up the system and the personnel and uh, let's see if we can uh, we can get our strikers scoring again the Champions League has been drawn and this is our group Dynamo Kiev and then we play the likes of Celtic and Valencia we played both of those teams in recent years if you have a look we played Celtic last year the year before that we uh, didn't play either of them but then the year before that uh, we played Valencia and we played Celtic in our group stages so two teams we've got a little bit of history with and we play Dynamo Kiev uh, as well we've also the uh, draw for the Carabao Cup has been made we've got Arsenal at home in the third round of that one we'll be playing a slightly rotated side against uh, Arsenal in that one saying not really too bothered about the Carabao Cup this season that's all the roundup stuff done and dusted no one went out with regards to the transfer window so no other uh, players left the uh, left the club and that's a good sign for us loads of uh, players loads of teams wanted um our players but no one came in with a decent enough uh, decent enough offer for us to go Mm, yeah let's think about it but no we've kept everybody in which is absolutely brilliant we have a look at the uh, the transfer center we do have a couple of uh, young uh, brazilians coming in only 18 17 18 years old one of them is edimar brought him in for nine and 9.75 million he's going to be uh, in and around the youth team for a couple of years but fantastic player there and we've got alberto ferrari or ferrari uh, in coming in as well for the same uh, price tag 9.75 million and uh, yeah we've got two really good players coming in and bolstering our youth setup let's get into this game though one and only game for you today against united away at old trafford this is going to be the lineup so this is the lineup rakivic in goal van zanten Pocone, zagadou and luis enrique are the back five we've gone for Teixeira and lauritsen in the middle of midfield had a really good start to the season those two and Bolo on that right hand side he is a little bit tired though so we might see will perry again uh, later on in the uh, game tedesiano in behind aldolfo because fetty are not really started the season on fire and then marin keeps his place on that left hand side 7.6 so far this season Great start to the year for him. Uh, Balau, uh, Gablevich, Cook, Madison, Perry, Keane and Arp all on the bench. Few injury worries. Uh, Dodo's picked up a little bit of a knock. He's out for about 10 days 
with ligament damage and Arnie Meyer is coming back from injury big misc is Arnie Meyer whenever he's not in the side but that's the lineup we go to Old Trafford and hopefully we can start or keep our good start to the season going United lining up with a 4-1-4-1 uh, De Gea still there in goal for him how old is he now he's 33 years of age and still looking fantastic Dallo, Diaz, Pavard and Guerrero are the back line with Ruben Neves in behind uh, or in front of uh, that back four Sterling, Malinkovic, Savage, Pogba and Brandt are the midfield four with Maricardi up top still got the likes of Lukaku he's on the bench but other than that the bench is pretty much Brandt, Spankin, New let's go and see if we can uh, get a decent result away at Old Trafford Enrique Starting the game off with a free kick into Marin. And now Teresiano coming a little bit deeper to pick up that ball. Trying to ball, find a ball over to Imbolo, but cut out by Julian Brandt. We do find the ball to Imbolo now. Driving at that left back. Lovely ball into the back post. Marin's there. Marin scores. He keeps his good form in the early season going. Second goal of the season for him. A lovely assist from Brilli Imbolo. He keeps his good form going as well. Ten minutes gone with 1-0 up. Imbolo driving at Guerrero at left back. Lovely whipped effort. We've got three men at the back post there De Gea can't keep that out 1-0 to Newcastle free kick Guerrero's gonna swing this one in at the back post of Cardi's there and it's rebounded all over the shop and Milinkovic Savic a minute after we went 1-0 up has pulled them back uh, for his first goal of the season we'll see this in more detail in 3D Guerrero whipping that ball in I think it's a Cardi gets a knock down someone gets a tackle in there and it just goes into the path of Milinkovic Savic one apiece that's going to see us through to half time. United had loads more efforts on goal. We've had a little bit more possession, probably not doing too much with it. So we might up the tempo a little bit and uh, possibly even go a little bit more direct. Going to get into the team talk and just say far from please what I've seen out there. Aldolfo 6.4 having trouble with getting our strikers into games at the minute. Teams really are sitting back at us and uh, yeah, it's affecting our strikers. Uh, Teresiano not having the best of games either. So two changes we might make there as well as in Bolo not having the uh, greatest of fitness. Let's get out there for the second half. And if we need to, we'll change up something uh, to get us back in this game. Pogba free kick, 15 minutes from time, goes for goal, shoots just over. We've lowered the tempo a little bit and gone a little bit more direct with our passing, hopefully to get Fetty Arp in over the top of United. Corner kick, Madison into Perry at the near post, but they get the ball clear and Luis Enrique is going to pick that ball up. 10 minutes from time, can we uh, can we go forward? Have to go backwards to Rakovic and start again. And uh, Zagadu being pressed by two United men into Larison. Uh, in the middle of the park, finds Teixeira back out to Will Perry. Lovely switch from the Portuguese. Overlap by Van Zanten. Van Zanten cuts inside to Larison. Quick pass in there between the three. Teixeira in on goal. Lovely through ball to Antonio Marin. And it's another good save from, uh, from David De Gea. Really good passing. Really good move from Newcastle. But couldn't finish it off. Madison in swinging corner this time. Can he find a blue shirt? Pavard gets the ball uh, only as far as Zagadu. And it's going to be the end of that highlight. But we're back again. Ten minutes from time. Malinkovic Savage into Paul Pogba. Over the top to Maricardi. But Pocconi with a really good tracking run up to uh, Madison but not going to beat Pavard in the air Jose Victor down to Cavalanta that's a good block again by Borconi into the back post and good goalkeeping by Rakovic keeps the ball away from Maricardi we go long again to R but we pick up that second ball Larison over the top to uh, Will Perry can he get the swinging in yes he can Fetty Arps there Fetty Arps scores lovely ball in from uh, Will Perry and Fetty Arps nipped ahead of his uh, defender and uh, we go 2-1 up with 9 minutes on the clock left Perry taking his man on lovely half yard whips that ball in he gets in between the centre half and uh, gets it's the ball into the back of the net. 2-1 to Newcastle. Teixeira in the middle of the park. Finds Luis Enrique on the uh, on the left. Can he find anybody in the middle? Marin's there. Marin shoots and scores. That wraps up the uh, win for us here. His second goal of the game. And it's 3-1 to Newcastle. Going a little bit more direct. Um, bypassing a few, a few passes. Obviously has made the difference. Lovely little ball here from Luis Enrique into Marin. Turns and then hits a left-footed shot. Really, really early. Don't think De Gea was looking like he was going to hit that. That early he did and with 3-1 up highlight after we've scored though are United going to get another consolation Milinkovic-Savage down the line to Icardi in that channel 
Icardi's in on goal, but a good uh, clearance from Van Zanten. Now Fetiak, we're going on another counter-attack here. Loads of men in uh, in ahead of him. Will Perry whips that ball in, but a little bit too early. No one really reading that one. And that is it. Full-time whistle goes. United 1, Newcastle 3. It was one apiece. At, at half time and then Fetiab eight minutes from time scoring the uh, the his first of the game our second and then Antonio Marin wrapping the game up on the 93rd minute as I said going a little bit more direct not kind of keeping the ball as much definitely helped us in that second half I just say just cutting some of those passes out definitely definitely helped us let's see where that leaves us in the league so the guards to the top six Everybody's played. The only teams that haven't played are Everton and a couple of players, a couple of teams in the uh, lower to mid of the table. We uh, topped by two points. Liverpool drew with City this weekend, so they dropped points. Uh, but only four teams now have got that uh, that kind of no loss uh, streak. We're only ones with a hundred percent record, which is good to see. Two points clear of Liverpool, four points clear of City and Southampton, and five points clear of Tottenham. United now down in ninth. Chelsea down in tenth, and Arsenal down in 13th. So next time out, we will be against Valencia and Stoke. Two really tricky away ties. We go to the Mestalla in the Champions League and hopefully by then we'll have two wins from two out of the Celtic and Dynamo Kiev games and uh, yeah, could potentially uh, halfway wrap up that group. And then we go to the Bet365 Stadium. Stoke back in the big time, back in the Premier League and it's always tricky to go away to Stoke. But that is it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop it a like. If you're new around here or you've just not done it yet, hit that subscribe button while you're down there and then follow it up with the notification bell and turn on all the notifications so you're uh, notified every time a video goes live in your sub boxes. And until next time, 5.30 tomorrow, we'll bring you Valencia and Stoke. I'll see you soon.